Jordan as both of these superstars hoping to get into that elimination chamber match. Right now, uh, La Rollins, of course, on Raw, lost the singles match against Christian, who will get one more match at the chamber for an opportunity to come out WWE World Heavyweight Champion, which very well could happen. Can you believe that? <laughs> I mean, Christian, WWE World Champion, it very well could happen. And now, elbow drop, and it was such a big elbow drop, it planted both superstars. And now, Lesnar... Shoulder first into Rollins. Now remember, there are no disqualifications or countouts, so Lesnar can very well use anything that he finds under that ring, including that table. Well, uh, the, the uh, crowd didn't even have to chant for tables, and he just takes one out as it, that table introduced into this matchup. The question is, will someone actually go through it? I... I, I Apparently, uh, we have, um, oh man, that, that was such a big shot, it hit both of them. But uh, Seth and Brock and Randy, I mean, I, the, who is going to go to the chamber? I mean, I, you'd feel like all three of them should, but uh, only one of them can actually earn a spot in that championship match. And that match is going to be absolutely off the hook. I mean, we've got... Roman Reigns, Triple H, Kalisto, The Rock, Christian, and one of these three competitors. So, I mean, this is absolutely outstanding. As Orton now planting Brock Lesnar. And now Lesnar dropped onto the table. Oh, man, and that's got to hurt your spine. And now Orton DDT to Seth Rollins as he works his way out of that one. And now Orton trying to get something going here as Lesnar just seems to be watching and waiting for his opportunity. In fact, he's found it. And there goes Rollins onto the table. And DET by Randy Orton. Oh, man, and Lesnar just drops him. Says, nah, uh you ain't doing that, bitch. Throws him down. And now a slap to the face of Lesnar by Orton. And now a suplex by Randy Orton. Oh, the tables have turned. Actually, they're, they're exactly the same. They've been face up this whole time. Um, and now Rollins setting up that table. Is Rollins going to try and put someone through the table? Uh, he actually put the barricade through the table in that case. If you, if you saw that, you'll, you'll notice that he put the barricade through the table. And now a vertical suplex by Randy Orton. So Randy Orton has hit quite a few suplexes in this match as well. So this definitely is Suplex City, but not just for Brock Lesnar. And now hitting both superstars with those steel steps is Seth Rollins. And Rollins now nailing both superstars again. As now Seth Rollins picking up Randy Orton. Here we go, Rollins into the headlock, now tossing Randy Orton into the barricade. The barricade has to be severely injured after being put through that table. You've got to wonder if the barricade is going to be able to hold for much longer. Yeah, I, I wish that we had more people here as well because, I mean, not only is it better to see a bunch of people give their ideas for kind of matches they want to see, but... Uh, you know, I, I'm thinking about after after this, I'm going to I'm thinking about doing an interactive universe mode where we come up with the matches on the spot. Um like at the very beginning, I wait to get some people to to join in and review what's basically been going on, and then we kind of come up with the matches for Raw and SmackDown and stuff while they go on because I mean, I I don't know, like a lot of people seem to like that, but I mean, I kind of want to. I, I kind of like what we do, where we 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 focus on the next segment of the universe mode. I don't know. Like I just. I mean, I wish that I could just bring a bunch of people here, but I don't have control over anybody, sadly. Um, but again, so far in this matchup, um, I, I'm not pick up. I don't really know the whole pick a person thing. I mean. I guess I haven't watched a lot of 
WWE Universe Twitch streaming. So, I mean, I guess that's that could be it. I don't know exactly know what they mean by Twitch. Pick a person and oh my god! Super kick to the face of Lesnar! And Seth Rollins going down for the cover, but Randy Orton stopping him from, from doing that. Because right now, right now for Universe Mode, I like to, to keep the title matches limited to, like, the pay-per-views. So we don't have the titles change hands, like, every single fucking episode, which very well could happen. As Suplex City is being uh, open for business, as Lesnar just planting Orton three times with suplexes. And Lesnar stopping the pin by Seth Rollins. So, okay, uh, what I'm wondering is you get people to, to, to pick a wrestler, and then what? You have those wrestlers, like, compete? But, but I mean, what if you have, like, a ton of, of people in the comment section? Like, I, I, I don't know. I'm really confused because uh, we can only have up to six. And, oh, man, hold on, F5! An F5 by Brock Lesnar! And now going for the cover on Rollins. There's no rope breaks in triple threat matches. Oh, and a kick out. Oh, man, a kick out by Seth Rollins. So, okay, so basically the, these, these pick, a, pick a superstar interactive universe modes. Basically what, what goes down is what, what you're saying is we have, we have, um, all these people in the comment section pick some superstar that they want to see, and then we have them compete on Raw, NXT, and SmackDown. And then basically I can say, okay, we're going to have a title match now. Who's going to fight this person? And then I basically they all comment on it, and I pick one of them or the most common answer and have them compete for the title. Or maybe we have like a number one contendership match and we have a bunch of people pick and so we have like a six man Armageddon Hell in a Cell match for the number one contendership shot at championships or what? No, they represent they wrestler. I um I have no idea what that even means. Um to be honest with you, let's see. So they they represent the wrestler. I I don't know. I'm really confused. I I need more of an explanation in order to figure out what they're like. They represent their wrestler. So wait. Okay. So basically they say like I want AJ Styles, and so I put AJ Styles in a match. Is basically what what's going on. I'm real. I. I I'm trying to figure out this whole interactive universe mode, how it normally is supposed to go. I mean, I like my way, but... I, um... Okay, so... They pick AJ Styles, I put AJ Styles in a match. So... Like, if per se, the main event, I want to be the number one contendership shot for the WWE title on the Raw before a pay-per-view. And that then they earn title shots? I don't I I have no idea. Uh, it, it just seems really complicated and a little stupid in my opinion. But here's what I, I think would... Like, I, I mean... Like, I honestly don't really care for it either um let's see like the, the, for me what I would do uh, is I would uh, what I'm probably going to do from here on out is I'm not going to make the match cards yet and we're just going to go match by match um, and have what people want to see and then kind of the same idea that they earn title shots and whatnot, but every pay-per-view is going to be already set. So, like, pay-per-views are already going to be set matches because they all earn title shots, and then at the pay-per-view, you know, it's already predetermined on what the matches are going to be. Because, let's face it, pay-per-views, you, you can't just have them say, okay, I want AJ Styles in the championship match, and you're like, yeah, he's lost about four times, but yeah, here you go. No, it's not going to happen like that. 
Not going to happen like that. That doesn't make any sense. So we're going to have them earn title shots and whatnot. But uh, what I might do is I might, instead of asking people, what do you want to see next time? I might go into universe mode and the very first matchup. Um, yeah. Uh, like for, in, in my opinion, it's, it's kind of a, it's kind of a lame idea, but what I'm very well might do is instead of like picking the, uh, matchups beforehand, like I've basically been asking people, what do you guys want to see next time? What I very well might do after the Elimination Chamber, hold on, hold on, before, before we continue, Seth Rollins, Seth Rollins is going for, for his finisher, here we go, pedigree, here it comes, but I think Orton's going to stop him from, from pinning him. Rollins going for the cover. No, it's not over. But uh, I'll probably what I'll probably have myself do is I'll probably enter the universe mode, wait like a couple of minutes, explain what's basically been going on, get a couple of people in here, and then we'll decide what match we should start the episode with, um, what p matches people want to see, um, and then we'll have like kind of number one contendership opportunities here and there, um, leading up to the pay per view. Um, cause I do, I, I, I want it to be semi-realistic universe mode where, you know, we have, we have number one contendership opportunities for people who have won matches or that are really over, but, which I, again, is not necessarily super realistic, but people who are super over, people want to see. And so in my opinion, they should be seen, but, uh, I just don't know, like a lot of people like to have control over universe mode and I thought that this was a good idea where you guys could have control over universe mode but not necessarily be like um, we're going to have all these crazy un just absolutely insane matches yeah so we, we put Heath Slater in a number one contendership match because it's, it's badass and people want to see that but uh, I'm thinking of what I'm going to do is in the future I'm going to like go on here and we're going to make the matches as the paper uh, as the show goes along. So basically I'll have a match, I'll exit the match, we'll see what people want to see next. We'll do that match and we'll keep going there on out. And then every once in a while I'll be like, "Okay, this is a number 1 contendership match. Um who do you guys want to see in it?" And we'll 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 pick some people uh, I may even have a say, like, I might be like, okay, I want to see this person in it because they've been winning a lot, and they're kind of a mid-card superstar right now. So we'll have them, and then we'll have what other people want to see, and kind of a triple threat or fatal four-way or, or, hell, even a six-person match. And then we're going to do it that way, because I think it's just going to be a lot better for people if they do it, if we do it that way. As they come in, they can see, okay, we have control over the matches relatively, um... And it's, it's still kind of on the road of what actual WWE is like, in a sense. So, that's what I'm probably going to do from here on out, is we're going to do it that way. It just makes a little bit more sense. But that's after Elimination Chamber, because Elimination Chamber is already set in stone. Once this match is over, we'll have all the matches for Elimination Chamber, and it's going to be off the hook. I'm excited, because i got to say, Elimination Chamber... Uh, is one of the most exciting pay-per-views in CPU versus CPU mode because rarely do superstars keep their championships. So we're going to see a lot of titles change hands. All right. Oh, it looks like Lesnar was good, about to go for the F5, but Rollins going for the cover, stopping Lesnar from attempting to hit that F5. And now Lesnar is going for the F5 again. And Rollins interrupting him again. Is he just tossing Orton into that neck breaker and he's just not letting he's not letting Brock Lesnar hit his move I mean if in my opinion Brock Lesnar should just be like okay drop drop Randy and oh man hold on oh Randy Randy was about to get caught by the F5 but Orton reversing it here and now Lesnar trying to toss Orton and then Orton tossing Lesnar so Orton with a couple of big time reversals and now going for the pin 
two, and a kick out by Lesnar at two. 